Hello, 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 and welcome to Aina of Renru Curls, from me, Renru, and today we are doing a 1v1 on Tropic Thunder. So, on the right hand side in blue, but don't be surprised, because he's playing his Red Bull, we got Putin 187, and what the 187 stand for, well, who, who, who knows, who cares at this point. And on the left hand side in red, playing his true Red Bull, we got four Asian characters, or whatever that name is supposed to mean, but at any rate, Four Asian characters is playing a general Red 4 deck, while Putin is going for the standard USSR as always. Gonna be quite interesting seeing how a general Red 4 decks work. I mean, you do lose the super heavy tanks that you would get in the only an Eastern Bloc or USSR. So, well, we'll see how it goes. And anyway, Putin started off the bat with a MI24V and a 52. Well, Asian characters just going for an AGS 17. Putin going straight across. Manson shoot down a helicopter. I'm going to make it. Yeah, this is better. And he's going to be pulling back. Okay, soon the MO24 is going to be staying put. Give him cover. Fire on Butterton. Just get M is going to force it to retreat. Putin managing to get himself into Echo. It's a very advantageous spot, and a few infantry guys in the Fox Rock Spetsnaz group. But Asian Characters is coming along. We've got AGS 17, so he isn't going to cross a bridge, but instead just hold on to the hotel. Seeing that he lost the point already. And the TATB is going to be moving like it was very useful cover by MIA MTV getting shot down. And we got some BTL 80s flanking around today. Oh, in a good position to. Potentially kill the CV over here if they can find it. I mean, this BTL 80 just drove through quite a lot of infantry without getting shot. I mean, the AGS is should be able to shoot it in, but whatever. And the command vehicle is pulling back after seeing just being chased down by a hit squad of BTRs. And there we go, the granites firing the grenades. Some BTR to get out of dodge. Damn, this is some very good aggressive play from Putin. Managing to get the CV, a very worthwhile kill here. And the ATF 17s are doing their best with a hailstorm of grenade fire. This helicopter just getting. Shot it down once again. These BTR 80s are doing an absolutely phenomenal job. Definitely paying themselves over and proving to be quite a pain, which is exactly what Putin needs. And he's already attacking into Hotel right now through Echo. Got Russian Marines and Spets and his group moving their way down through the town. But the thing is, Asian characters does have that TATB still and AS 35s covering the open area. Yeah, Putin's just in a good spot, just getting a few snipes in there, bringing up the MI24V once again. But to just get him, is going to shoot it down. The K29 also getting shot down, that to just get him definitely proved to be quite useful. Almost out of missiles, which could be quite a pain. BTR-18 trying to snipe a second CV, but the HES is making it a little bit difficult. Causing the BTR to play it, shooting down another MI run. He really just needs to get some sort of tank over here to deal with his BTR. Good god. It's still alive and is he gonna Is he gonna kill the ATS? No way. Absolutely no way. I'd love to see the kill feed on this, but this is getting ridiculous now. He's just, now he's got four of these helicopters, which should be enough. A BTR AT, there we go, finally getting killed. But definitely dying for the motherland here. Yeah, some very, very good play. And the main thing is that he kept the CV off India for an awful long time. So Putin's getting a very nice plus two point advantage. And forcing his opponent to buy a lot of helicopters. Which I think could prove to be quite useful when clearing the infantry. This would be wary of AA. But doesn't the yeah, arrow, well, he's got two ulcers over here. 
so ain't exactly the best anti-helicopter. Oh, yeah, and I believe it's just cheap runs. Yeah, it's just a cheap runs. Oh, Putin is keeping on the offensive. Moving into the hotel. Best of screw getting into and just getting riping out. Or oh, doing a lot of damage to the Russ Marines. Also, oh, as you mentioned, shoot down helicopter. I might have to take what I said back earlier. And it seems like it didn't manage to shoot down a plane as well. What do we have up here? We just have one AGS 17 hanging up on the mountainside. And now uh, Putin's just keeping on the offensive. Russian Marines about to get a little bit overrun by the T 18. I think what Putin needs if he wants to attack Hotel is probably some tanks. He does have a, uh, a, a four hours of a four hours of T eighty four second, but bro, well, actually, didn't manage to snipe that tank, which was a pretty bloody good kill, jeez. But even just like like a T sixty four PM or sort of mid range tank would definitely help out with attacking in the Hotel. And the range are moving up. Also, Putin, we're only thinking about getting the HCV and either Echo and Foxtrot, preferably both of them, because that could be a very nice plus two. And he is getting that tank up, as I said earlier, a T-80B. A rather solid choice. And it seems like a lot more Tutans is being brought up. And another Tunguska M. Now, Aizen characters is on the defensive. And right, this isn't really looking good for him. He got kicked out of Echo and Foxtrot. And all he has is Hotel really to his name. And he's still got the Spetsnaz crew in the bottom left downtown. Hmm. I mean, he could probably attack through India and Echo, try to cross that bridge. So it's going to be a little bit costly, even just one squad of Russ Marines. But he definitely needs to somehow regain that momentum. Because he is down by quite a lot of points. More mods directly being brought up in a very powerful BMP3. It's definitely going to help out the T-80B and deal with the infantry and other light armor. Inside this forest. Now he's just going to be fought in the river thanks to the BMP3's aquatic capabilities. This has grew. Lighting a little bit outside its lead, gonna be forced to fall back. It still has that year or to keep it supplied. We've got a concourse to snipe in his transport all the way up here. Lighting itself in his little in this little crevice. Rather sneaky spot. Definitely a place he doesn't want to move out now. SU 27M coming in. Managing to get a kill and evac in. Osa's fire on his missiles. Is it going to escape? It does seem so. The Ark 141's coming in a little bit too late yet. But the main thing is, is that Aizen characters now has control of the whole town. town. A lot more shooting, yeah. Definitely more than enough to keep her motor strictly out. So now it's really going to be about. Asian characters attacking somewhere now. He can't really go from he can't go from hotel to Foxtrot due to Putin's forces in the boss man side of Echo. But I think a big infantry person to Echo or Charlie could also work. Yo, know, it's a rather far away point, and the Concourse M can really snipe anything that tries to cross along this area. And here's one problem with this map. Is that it has a lot of bridges and bridges are very hard to attack over. Pretty much all of Asian characters' attack options are across a bridge. Unless he goes from Hotel to Echo, but once again, yeah, it could work actually. He's just gonna need some fire support to help deal with the infantry and the T-80B. Yeah, we have a little bit of play down here, and we've got a little bit of just a just a tiny touch crowd play. From Putin with some MI8 and uh, MI24D. 
Getting the BMP into go. Like, I'm guessing he's trying to get some sort of CV snipe over here, but his place is a little bit more heavily defended. The NP 42B, the MI24D, just flying right over, getting hit up by the 50 cows from the Duskums. SU27M trying to get a few snipes, getting shot down the body. Axe, yeah, that's a rather expensive kill. The MiG25PD getting some revenge, and both of them going to be evacuating. So a rather costly loss here. I believe the SU27M is 200, 180 points. It's an expensive plane, to put it simply. So losing one of them is never really good because that was one of Asian characters' main tank busters. ATS-17 dealing with the Mosul Stratleys. Yeah, he's in characters regaining control on the bottom hand side. And now both sides just bring up more reinforcements. And Putin finally getting some CVs into Echo and Fox, where he really should have done so earlier. Because this is a lot of points that he have been missing out. Yo, I guess it doesn't matter too much for him, because he still has a point advantage by roughly 70 points. And now he's going to be getting that very nice plus run. And if you can get another one in the Fox Trot, that's going to be a beautiful plus two. And there we go, the AGS-17 from earlier, hanging out on the mountainside, coming round the flank. And he's not really going to get much done. The OS is just going to shoot it as it gets close. Or will scratch it. All these MIH are coming back. But he's just flying all the way around the flank. I think he's not going to position himself by the spawn point to get a spawn snipe. But he could just spawn an AA unit and Putin get a lot of ASU ready fives to cover his flanks. Which are always a very good uh, flank covering unit. That's not really an official term, but I just made it. Because the ASUs are so bloody cheap, you can get a lot of them. And now Putin, speaking of a lot of stuff, he's got three T80Bs now. Which is definitely more than enough armor. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen Putin pulling out a, uh, a super heavy tank. Because even like a 89 or PU could just ripe the floor of anything that Asian characters could possibly bring up. Because he is just playing a general Red 4 deck. But, you know, 3 t 80 bs also do the job quite well. And we've got the Buratino firing a raid, trying to get some kills. The Smirch trying to kill the Buratino, but that usually doesn't work. Let's see, how much top armor does the Buratino even have? It does two top armor. Which is rather respectable. I mean, annoying thing about the Buratino is that it's rather, rather hard to kill due to its armor. I mean, it's nothing amazing in a tank fight, but against HE bombs or you know, smirts, it can survive a little bit longer unless they get struck. And then we've got the BMP runs moving in, trying to attack into the town. The Napalm. It's hitting behind them, but it doesn't really hit anything. He was cut to rope off throughout the concourse them. They are getting kills, but they are a lot of limited ammunition. They've only got two missiles left. You can still get the concourse them up here too. And the mod shootings are just going to overwhelm the Russian Marines and Spets and his group. And this could be what Asian character needs to retake the match. Just moto spam through Echo. Because even though he doesn't have the tank advantage, he has the infantry advantage due to the shootings. You know, the AS-35s and the MAH aren't coming in strong. And do we have any AA here? We don't really have any AA here. The Tungus M really needs to move up to help deal with these MAH. AS-35s trying to flank around from the tier 2 bs and BMP-3. Going to be shooting any reinforcements. And it's just, it's just missiles everywhere right now. This is a Red Bull versus Red Bull match in a nutshell. Just missiles. Loads of missiles. And these tier 2 bs are moving up. Gonna be killing the ASU-85 as it barrels down the road. Managing to get the kill. As the tank reinforcements come up. Firing on a full-on cavalry charge. It's 
Those best sons grew getting slain from the infantry as they cross open the field. And the BNP being forced to fall back in Foxtrot. These multitudes are a little bit, a little bit outnumbered, I want to say right now. We've got more Russian Marines being brought to by the boatload to secure the bottom hand Echo flank. Now, it didn't exactly work too well. Now we've got T-80Bs and BMP-3s having a bit of a sniping match between one another. And a BMP-3 going to be pulling back, which is probably not the best. It does have the lower armor value. I believe Ron Missile from a T-80B could kill a BMP-3. Yeah, I'd want to say so, but the T-80B You'd get blown up. And you've got Smurch once again trying to kill that pesky Berrettino. SU-25 also flying around realizing that it is no SAA. And you've got the KH-29 flying over. It should have spotted. Yes, he did. Did spot the CV. So I'm guessing something's going to come up soon to try and blow it up. Plane of some sort, maybe. Or a helicopter rush. Oh, assault. Tungus get him holding the air, keeping us at my H at bay. You may want to think about getting another AA piece. Like another PGZ 80. There you go, SU 24 and SU 25 coming in. And then the SU, this is the SU 25 with the rocket. So. Should be able to get a snipe on the CV. It doesn't have a rather accurate mark. Never mind. Going for the Tunguska Emirates is also a good choice. SU-24. Trying to find any radar AA, but it's just that Tunguska, which just got killed. TATBs on the ground as the MIH fly right over into the machine gun trap. And they're not having enough time to aim their rockets. And even the PGZ-80 helping out. The air guy, M8, managed to get some strike shots on the TOTB. You know, they don't really have that many rockets to spare. And now Putin's now just pretty much on a plus three. He's got this match in the bag. And now he's getting the CV to Foxtrot. I mean, he really should have got the CVs on there sooner. And he has the plus three. Oh, yeah. Oh, a hotel CV. Okay, that's right. It's now it's plus four. And then Putin's just got a very good defensive position. Bertino firing. Routing out the Gru the Grus. And there we go. The T eighty B's moving up, but they are gonna get SU twenty fives as they try to attack. Falling back into the forest. Smurch is trying to scout them out too. And one final crazy big infantry push. Some bomb shoes and whatnot. Assuming close on this. In the last 30 seconds of the match. Yeah, nice cinematic angle. The ABC is giving cover and fire. Uh, you're all in a tough position. But the MIA is coming in. Or Hind or whatever helicopters are in the distance. I think it's a Hind. Need infantry guys staying back by the ABC. Rightfully so. Not wanting to move up. Into our cluster truck of a town. More quick chasing the APCs. And yet, will be a GG. Putin taking the victory by, well, managed to get the Conquest points. And uh, yeah, again, kill advantage by 1,300. Really, what allowed Putin to win that match was because he's very aggressive in the early game. Managing to capture most of those middle points because Tropic Thunder, you got. I like to think of it as you've got those four middle points, and you really want to try to control, you know, more of them in the enemy because it's, it's conquest. Because attacking the flanks in Tropic Thunder is really bloody hard because of how long it takes for reinforcements to come up. But yeah, Putin just rushed into Echo, held on to it, and because most of the other choke points are bridges, there wasn't really many ways for Asian characters to attack. 
He realized that maybe he tried a full-on frontal infantry so soon and have a bigger force. And Putin really could have got some CVs on his points earlier. But I'm going to leave it off as yet. Yeah, this has been another Rangaroo cast. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.